What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today I have an amazing RV to show y'all. It is the No Boundary 16.6. It is amazing. It's lifted. I mean, look at this. Me standing next to it, it's hip height. Again, I'm only five foot seven, so hip height is half of my body size. So this thing can handle off-roading. They put real name brand tires that everybody's heard of. They have the solid steps. It's got so much on this RV that I wanna show you and you're gonna fall in love, I promise. But before we hop in, just like I always say, thanks again for all my new subscribers. It means the world to me. I'm getting so close to being monetized. So every time anybody subscribes, I know it's not that hard for y'all, but it means the world to me because it changes my channel drastically, you know, subscribe after subscriber. Uh, but anyways, guys, if, I hope y'all enjoy this video. If you do, hit the like button. If you want to see the future videos, subscribe and bell notification. But let's jump into this. All right, so no boundaries are a little bit different than just about anything out there. This is designed to actually go off-roading and handle Jeep-like terrain. Now, do you want to take a rock crawling? No, probably not. But if you get close to where you're going to go rock crawling or go off-roading or anything like that, this is capable to get to that location to go camping nearby. So this thing is awesome. Let's go ahead and look at it. All right, so in the very front, again, I've always loved this, even on like the Sonics, it has that front mirror, uh, the front window. This one also has the front window. I love it. You can kind of see the lights in there. I've got it all turned on and everything. And then of course you have the big, beautiful Nobo logo, which of course stands for no boundaries. And then you have the no boundaries. And of course you have all of these decals which i absolutely love to show the uh, you know the 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 nature and the of what it stands for like these are designed to enjoy camping and going out and getting out in the world and you know go hiking go climbing go off-roading go have fun that's what this is all about so from there you do have your rock guard and then you have a place to put your batteries coming around you do have a single tank of propane and then you have a power tongue jack that is taller than I've ever seen on any of them because this thing is so tall that it needs like an extra long tongue jack. And it has a, I don't know what this is used for, but it, it's the same concept as the, uh, um, the dog leash holder type thing the leash latch on some of the other travel trailers that we sell so i don't know if that's what that's for or if it's just to hook up your your chains or something to kind of keep it out of the way but it, it doesn't say anything but it's there you could hook up your dog coming onto the side again you have uh mechanical jacks or manual jacks rather uh so i would say again get you a drill you'll be totally fine and these are super tall jacks you got to think this is outrageously high so i mean but you'll be fine you'll be totally fine it'll come down really fast with a manual jack of course you have a huge path th pass through storage all the way through and of course this is all aluminum frame it's stunning it's so nice and then you can see you got to kind of go look and you got to pass through to the uh, inside of the rv itself You have the solid steps, three steps and four step you're into the RV itself. And again, you still have more and more of these decals showing what this company kind of represents. I'm, and I'm just assuming, I haven't had an opportunity to talk to the rep, but I'm guessing they are very focused on true camping and going out and adventuring and all that kind of stuff. So I really, really like that. You have an awning that goes all the way across, covers up the full, full glass door which is awesome and it's you can close the door just like a regular door and you don't have to worry about it breaking so don't worry about that and of course you got the mountain goat the billy goat right here that's super cool it is of course all lit as well and then of course this has the beast mode package which is by kurt which is their suspension so down here this is literally designed you've got i don't even know what kind of suspension this is called i see the dual shocks i'm not an off-roader so i don't know a lot about this stuff but it, it's it's intense i know that much 
And then of course, the other cool thing is you actually get Goodyear Wrangler tires on here, which uh, coming from the car industry, that's a very popular tire to put on a lot of things, but these are very knobby and very off-road design centric. And then of course you have, these are designed to where you can actually step on the well, uh, the uh, tire well, or whatever you want to call it, the fender flare. You can walk on it, so that's kind of cool. You also have solar on board, and of course you have Asdell. Oh, and it's cool, it even shows you your design of the inside and all the specs. That's really, really cool. Except for it doesn't have like the hitch weight, all that. This is such a new model. So you got fresh water tank of 30 gallons, gray water tank 30 gallons, black water tank 30 gallons, awning is 11 foot. So that's really cool. This might be all the information I'm able to get right now because it's still so new. And then of course the exterior length is 21 foot 8 inches. And it does have the cold weather package so more than likely the underbelly is going to be completely sealed. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's not going to be that hard. Yeah, fully under steel underbelly. That's nice. Very nice. More and more beautiful decals. I love how they added color to the sun. And of course you have a bird over here. You got a probably just a place that somebody stays at for the weekend, making my whole story. This guy, that's his place to live. That's his bird just kind of hanging out. You know, he's headed over towards his billy goat, just hanging out. I love this RV. This is so cool. It's a steel wheel, but it's a full size spare. All LED tail lights, and I like it. I, I know they did this on purpose. It's so simple, but they even put the you know the follow journey on at no boundaries at all their socials. They put it sideways, you know that kind of style. I actually in this situation, I actually like the idea that it doesn't have a window on the back because you're taking so many adventures in this thing. I would want to put bumper stickers all the way bottom to top on this RV. I think that would be really cool. Of course, you have the big Nobo logo right there, pre-wired for your backup camera. Coming around, and it is a single slide, so that's super nice. And you do have a storage or door entry on this side. It's mostly for storage. You're not going to go in and out of it like this. And then you just have, and this goes up. So since this is kind of built for this, you push this up, you can latch it, and you've got storage right here. And then it, if it's low enough, you can just put your bed down, and you can still do it. Or if you just need to keep the bed up, it's got a latch located right there to hold it up. And since I'm already here, you know, you got your bed, you do have a light, and you do have two USB-A ports right there as well. God, this is awesome. When they said we were getting one, I was so excited. And we're getting more, so more to come. It is a 30 amp RV. Big, beautiful slide. So the guy on the other side decided to invite a friend and they, deci they decided to go canoeing. See, the bird hangs around. The bird's always there to watch out for them. You have a six gallon hot water tank and it has 10.1 gallons of uh, per hour of uh, regeneration. You have your fresh water connection, you have your city water connection, and you have the other side of your slide and you look like you get a griddle with it as well. So. So awesome. All right, guys, so that covers the outside. This is a fairly small trailer, but again, it's designed to sleep in, you know, cook a little bit of food, and then go outside, go get some fresh air, go have some fun. But let's jump inside. Oh, and it does look like they decided to put nitrogen in the tires. Nitrogen is, uh, I mean, they use it in pretty much all racing series throughout the world. It helps the temperature doesn't get affected near as much as uh, air. It's completely pure nitrogen, so it, it helps a lot. All right, so again, three steps. Fourth one takes you into the uh, actual RV itself. All right, coming on in. 
first thing you see is that little hole right here and of course that takes you to the uh, pass through underneath and this has let me see exactly what it has it has a 60 by 74 queen bed so you got a queen bed there's no storage underneath because it's the pass through and all that good stuff you do have storage above all the way across you have that big beautiful front window and of course you can bring down the these guys and uh, block all the light coming in and you do have a TV as well coming around this side you have a Dometic RV refrigerator just so nice the other thing that I thought was really funny so you can tell this is designed for you to go out and go camping is because of this you have a vacuum cleaner there that you hook up a hose and you have a sweep vac right here. So whenever you're done sweeping, lift this up. You can hear the vacuum and it'll suck up all the stuff that you swept up. So they're expecting you to have a little bit of junk on the floor to clean up because you just got back from camping or hiking or swimming or whatever you're doing. So you just need to sweep it up and put it in there. You have a large for this size of an RV, a high point large microwave and it is convection too yeah convection microwave grill you have two burners right here you have an acrylic sink along with a matte black faucet oh and here's a little bit of in, uh, information about the suspension but man, it just looks so cool. That suspension with the double shocks and everything on each side. And then you got the spring and everything. And then under here, you have a little bit of storage above your sink. And of course, you have a window here as well. And then coming over here. So you have your bunk beds right here. And of course, you can you have a curtain that you can pull out and kind of cover up. So you got your little bit of privacy they're both lit. I already showed you the bottom from the outside. And of course, this one also has a light. And you can see right there on the side where the, uh, the plug is for your USB A's. Man, they really put a lot in such a great space. And of course, you have storage above the table. And we'll show you the table here in a second on both sides. Yeah. And of course, it's set up to be transported. We just got it straight off the truck and I pulled it off to the side. You're literally seeing it for the first time with me. I, I, I walked in for about two seconds and I was like, I kind of want to do it not knowing everything. So there's something about kind of doing your first walkthrough together. So I kind of like this. And of course, you can take these cushions, make it a bed, or you can take the legs that were on the pass through and turn it into a table. So your heater is going to be right here which should be more than enough for this space. And then we're gonna to go to the bathroom. You do have a vent in the bathroom. You have acrylic sink, faucet. You have your solar charge controller here. You got me, just a regular uh, mirror, nothing special. And then you got a little bit of storage around the pipes and stuff. Just enough to put what you need but you do have storage above the toilet let's see if it's it's a plastic toilet and then you do have oh i like that it's a magnetic curtain i like that a lot so here let me see if i can get a good view so on the top it shows how much water would be able to get out is what i'm trying to show so that's basically you're not going to get water coming out of here and from the bottom since it's magnetic and it does have the uh, the little guys on the bottom of the uh, thing to stick to the... Yeah, so these are magnetic too. So you shouldn't be getting any water out of this shower. That's usually the issue with these cloth showers. And then I believe... Oh, these are really cool. So these actually change color on the temperature of the water. So you're not jumping into the shower when it's cold. So you turn it on, get the heat going, and this will, I believe it turns red once it gets hot. So that's super, super cool. You have all your tank 
readings and of course your water pump your water heater you have gray black fresh and battery and then you do have your oh oh it's heated okay so it's truly meant for even the winter time okay so these are heating heated uh, holding tanks so you have your fresh your gray and your black and you don't have to have them all so let's say you just filled up your uh your fresh tank you just want to turn on your fresh tank to stay warm because you haven't used any of the other tanks so there's no need to actually turn them on let's say you go up to montana to, like you're a crazy person during the winter time and you just have a uh, your fresh tank filled and then once you park you turn on the other two because you don't want them to freeze over that is awesome once you start actually using the the water and transporting it to either the black or the gray tank that's super awesome i love this thing i've actually even talked to my boss about trading in my rv on this it's a, still a little bit small because it's family four because i i don't take the kids out randomly without the ex-wife so this would be literally my bed this would be her bed and of course the kids beds and the other thing i really like about this is the stair to get to the top it is built in it's not going anywhere so you don't have to worry about finding a place to hide this or hoping that your kids don't kill themselves climbing up from the bottom because this is actually a lot of space from top to bottom so that's really awesome and then of course you have your air conditioning your thermostat control right there and it is a coleman mock air conditioning man i love this thing but guys, I'm going to try to get as much of the information as far as specs goes. Uh, and I'm going to go over all the specs right now. The hitch weight is 380 pounds. The unloaded vehicle weight is 3,749 pounds. The cargo carrying capacity is 1,501 pounds. The exterior length is 21 feet 8 inches. Exterior height is 9 foot 11 inches. Exterior width is 96 inches. And all your tanks, your fresh water, your gray water, and your black water tank are each 30 gallons. And your awning size is 11 foot. The solar panel is 200 watts. And that pretty much covers everything. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. My contact information is located down in the description. Back to me. All right, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I like making it. Uh, I really love this RV. It's super, super unique, super awesome. I know there's some off the brand companies, like smaller companies that make things like this, but I love seeing them. I, I wish I could sell them all so I could do videos on all of them. So, but unfortunately I can't. But if you have any questions, all my contact information will be down in the description. Of course, you can also leave a comment. I'm here for that as well. I try to check all my comments over and over again. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification, all that good stuff. And until next time, bye.